dinner, but it was more like uh, I ate breakfast for dinner, which I do a lot. I had eggs and bacon and water. Um, keto friendly, even though I needed more greens. But anyway, I'm trying to look for my notes that I've been taking for this course to see if anything there's anything new I can share with you guys. But um, yeah, this uh, this week's been good. I feel like every week's good. I've been having like really, really good weeks, like since I've started this course, because like, and I've mentioned in past videos, I think um, like one of the big things that they focus on during this course, the six figure songwriting course is your mindset, which is applicable to obviously way more than this class. Cause the way that it's framed is like, they encourage you to have a morning routine. And again, I, I, I feel like I, I talked about this before and I, I, it's such a big thing for me now. I feel like I got to reiterate it where it's just like how we feed our state. Like, you know, I'm waiting to showers because I, I'm not a, a morning person. Usually I'm trying to get become more of one, but um, the shower wakes me up. You know, I, I will um, for me kind of goals and just challenge myself with some things. Um, then I'm just praying for like maybe, you know, two to five minutes or something like that and just a lot of like like confession is a lot of gratitude um you know for god and things that he's provided in my life the things that we kind of even take for granted you know just life in and of itself being a gift you know what i mean it's like me not being deserving of this precious gift of life that i have but he gives it to me anyway um you know like you know encouraging myself and giving myself grace as well through that time um and combating any perfectionism that I might have, so like that. So this class has kind of helped me to get a more solid, um, you know, routine in this time. And so I'm really happy about it. And I feel like also I've been, you know, allowing myself just to just to go at a a, a, a pace that's helpful and healthy for me, because um, there's a lot of work that kind of gets thrown our way between like a lot of homework assignments. Like every week we have like it could be like anywhere from, you know, two to four or five, like, you know, uh, Zoom calls where they're like an hour apiece minimum. Um, and, you know, it's really good information from the teachers and instructors, but, you know, it's just a, you know, it's, it's a time commitment. And also, you know, trying to um, make sure you're taking, you know, good notes and applying what you're doing, um, you know, applying what you're learning to what you're doing. But in this phase right now, like I'm, I'm thankful that they kind of give you a good buffer to kind of, you know, research a lot of stuff because the order is, you know, we research the kind of songs we want to do. And then we go and figure out um, who those music supervisors are that place the songs um, for, you know, say it's like a Jane Smith. song. I keep going back to Jane Smith, um, you know, Jane Smith song and saying like, OK, where was that song placed in a movie before? if it's ever been placed. And if it has been placed, who was the person that said, yes, we want to put this song in that movie? Um, because what that does is saying, okay, I know that this kind of music, Jaden Smith is in demand and I know it's being used now. So let me maybe, you know, model some music that might be up that alley or kind of familiar to give myself a better chance, um, you know, to pitch music and get placed and all that other kind of stuff. So. Um, sorry, but yeah, so like that's been really like that's been the pacing that that has been on and where I'm at right now. Um, and this week I've decided to not do as much songwriting because even before this class, I was already working on like a ton of um music. Like I have a whole you know EP, two EPs that I was working on. I'm trying to finish out before this class picks up even more. Um. So I've been writing like every every week towards that. And this week, I think, you know, I slowed down a little bit. I actually have a studio session with my boy Quentin tomorrow, but tomorrow evening. But this week, I've just been kind of doing more work, like the research, um, the stuff that's not as sexy. And um, but it's like super crucial, super vital. And it's been helping me too, to even think about not just the songs I want to create for this this class, but even those other songs that I've I was writing for this class. You know, trying to think like where can those those songs get, you know, what kind of chance can I give those songs? Who's who's in need of this kind of um, 
this kind of music. And so, but one of the big things I guess I want to talk about today is I was actually, I, I did a FaceTime call with one of my course mates um, and she's within our group, you know, got broken up into like groups of like eight to 10 or something like that out of like 200 people who were in a class. And um, um, this one uh, lady that's in there, she's really cool. She's super talented. She lives out in Vietnam, but she's Russian. And uh, we're on like a 12 hour time difference. So I was calling her at, you know, noon my time and it's like 12 her time. She's just getting off work and stuff like that. So, but I, I was checking in on her just to kind of see how she's been doing me because she was having a hard time trying to find reference songs for the type of EP that she wanted to make. And it was really like burdening her um, because she felt like she was really behind. Because again, like I mentioned, it's a lot of information that's coming at once. And I had, you know, be kind of empathetic to her as well, because like, there's a lot of things that I know just because I've been in you know, the music industry for a while. Um, there's a certain music vocabulary that I have that is just kind of second nature to me. Like I'm used to certain, I'm used to organizing and, and strategizing my weeks um, to, to maximize my, my time. Um, and so for her, a lot of this stuff is new. And so she was feeling like really, really discouraged. Um, so much so, I think like today she was contemplating, like, should I just quit this class? Um, and so I've made it kind of like a responsibility for me um, to kind of keep checking in on her every week just to see how she's doing. Uh, Cause she's really talented, but can I empathize with her because she, she's in her head a lot. Um, and I've been there and I, I'm still there sometimes. But there's things that I've, you know, kind of overcome and things that I see like might be a help for her that I want to, um, you know, just be a resource for. But one of the things she was just saying or I was kind of, you know, pulling out of her is noticing is that she was she was really modeling her goals and her progress and her success by other people and other people in the class. Um which in one sense is not bad and another sense is bad if it's if it's discouraging you so much where you feel like you know not of value and you know you're you're overly criticizing your progress and and um you know when it really might not be as drastic or dramatic as you think it is and so i'm just talking with her and she just has you know some issues with trying to organize her and structure her days and knowing what to really focus on. And, um, and also she is thinking a little too further ahead as well, as far as like, what, you know, what are the other things that we need to be doing with, you know, during this time, which is like that stuff will be taught to her later on. We don't even really have to focus on it. Like, you know, the legal stuff or trying to find producers or, you know, recording process and all that kind of stuff. It's just like, you know, we'll get there and we'll learn that as we go. Um, and it's kind of like this fear of missing out as well with like keeping up with the calls and all that kind of stuff. So, but I was just letting her know, man, like, you know, giving her some practical tools as far as like ways that I, you know, structure my day, you know, at the top of the week, I plan out my whole week and I use this um, software called Asana to help me do that. Um, but trying to help her just with the mindset and why I do it this way. But, um, you know, helping her to get that going, but also just encouraging her as far as just like debunking a lot of the lies as far as like her not feeling like she'll be able to find producers because she doesn't have a lot of music and I have a lot of money, which for me, I don't have a lot of money either. Like I'm able to work with producers um, who are okay with being paid on the back end for um, some of the stuff that we're doing because, you know, we're actively trying to pitch this stuff. Um, which is a big incentive for, you know, producers sometimes who just want to be a part and get their music and TV and film. Um, so there's, you know, there's a lot of inroads just trying to debunk some of the the, the stigma she had. Um, but after the conversation, she felt really, really encouraged. And I, I was glad that, you know, we were able to kind of connect on that. And um, so, yeah, it's like, it's, it's kind of that season, like me being a resource to people and also just, um, you know, having other people pour into me as well and just teach me new things and how to strategize and how to reach out to certain people or, um, you know, just little stuff that I'm getting from my course, my, my course mates um, in ways I didn't expect. And so it's been really dope. And 
Yeah, so that's, that's a brief little update of just kind of what these past couple of weeks have been looking like. Um, you know, I've been really, really enjoying it. And so I'm um, I'm still waiting. I'm, I'm going to have a really special one when because I'm really have I'm having another special blog when the instructor actually listens to one of my songs because we, we can submit songs that they listen to during the listening session hours where it's like it's like two hours every Wednesday or something like that. They'll listen to a bunch of songs that um, the uh, class submits and they kind of go through them. So I submitted mine and I'm waiting for them to get it because I just really want to see if if how close it is and kind of what they say. Um, so when that happens, I, I'm you know I'll, I'll share with you guys. But um, but yeah, that's that's pretty 